Gee, is it hot out here. Welcome back to another one, guys. I'm going to spend a little time with Nate today, doing what Nate likes to do best, and that's shoot some pews. Now, a couple of videos back, uh, we were uh, throwing some stuff through the 22. And I just mounted the scope on it, didn't sight anything in. We are just taking some shots. Today, we're at a different spot, because uh, we were going to go to the ghost range, but... From what I understand, the weeds are taller than I am, the mosquitoes are bigger than I am, and the black flies are the size of my truck. So we've come to the farm. This is the same farm that we run diesel around at. But we got the 22 today, the scope's not been sighted in. We're gonna be sitting at 100 yards. And uh, let's see if we get this thing dialed in. All right, so here we got Nate's 22. We've got some all different kinds of ammo, but today we're gonna to be using the Winchester 22 long. And it is 40 grain. That's pretty much the standard for the 22 long. We're going to put three in each mag over there. We're going to send three, check it, make an adjustment, send another three. All right, so we sent our first three rounds. I started out, the first shot I took was on an aluminum block awfully shaky so I got rid of the block put it down on the table let's see how we did we're just probably about 105 yards all right we got all three on the body we've got one two three so keep in mind guys that's quite a distance for a 22 I'm trying to get it in the heads so I gotta bring the elevation up quite a bit again that's a long poke for a 22 but at least we're on the paper and it gives us a good starting point also we got about a five to eight mile an hour crosswind which will come into a little bit of play with the 40 grain bullet but we'll figure it out you can hear the bang I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if you can hear the impact or not but it's almost like you can count between the bang and the impact we're not getting anywhere at 105 or 100 yards so we're gonna move up to 50 we're gonna fire a total of three shots, make an adjustment, and, then we'll make, and if we have to make an adjustment, we'll make one from there, and we'll fire another three, and then we'll gradually back up to the 100. It's going up. All right, we're here at 50 yards. Uh, Nate's gonna move around behind me here. We're gonna aim for the head. We're gonna take three shots, see where we're at, make an adjustment, and then we'll try it again from there. But no shooting platform, so I gotta do this freehand. Let's go see where we're at. Okay, so I think that one was Nate's. These two are mine. That one is mine. So the issue is I don't have a stable platform. I took the first shot standing, found myself all over the map. So then I knelt down. That might've been where the two high ones came in. No idea. We're gonna shoot three more from the same spot, but I'm gonna kneel and we'll see if it's any better. All right, so we're getting a little closer. We got the elevation at 50 just about right, but we gotta get the center point. Now watch this. All the shots are to the right. The elevation's not bad, but we gotta bring it over about eight inches. Well, we came over, but we're low. I'm thinking that might be shooter error. Again, I've got no rest, but we're trying to do the best we can. Have a look. Got another one here, another one here, and another one here. So I'm low compared to the three before, which are up here. So I'm going to make the adjustment on my end, not the gun this time. Let's see if I can get a little steadier. But I'm thinking one thing that we have proved is that the 22 long at 100 is uh, not effective. And you bring in the variables with some wind and the 40 grain bullet. 50, not bad, but we just got to get it dialed in a little more. That was a low and right, I think. 
Ah, not likely. So, first two had the crosshair dead center on the head. The third, I knew, I'm pretty sure I know, I pulled that low and right. All right, so clearly, from looking at that, I still gotta come up and over. All right, so we made our adjustment. We'll see where we're at again. All right, all three shots, crosshairs were on the head, best I could. Looks like we still gotta come up quite a bit, so we'll make that major adjustment and see where we're at. Also, looks like we got a little bit of weather rolling in on us, so we're gonna have to speed this up a little bit. I'm not having much luck. We're gonna see if Nate can uh, do better than I can. I made the adjustment on the scope. Nate's gonna put three rounds at the top of the head and we'll go from there. All right, well, looks like Nate come up a little bit. Again, I gotta check all the footage just to see where the holes were because I didn't bring my Sharpie yet again, but we're close. I mean, if I'm aiming at your head, I'm going to hit you in the chest, so I guess it's six, one, half dozen of the other. Did I mention how hot it was out here? It's got to be pushing 90-some degrees. We're sweating. we got some clouds rolling in. He's just got a phone call from Tyler telling me that there's a funnel cloud that he can see. I can't quite see it yet, but I'm guessing it's over in this area here. Well, guys, we had to bail because the weather was coming, tornado storms uh there was a uh, tornado coming across the field i got a picture sent to me and a phone call from tyler telling me uh better get out of the field so uh that was it didn't exactly get the 22 sighted in but got to hang with nate and that was the most important thing got a little shooting done had some overall fun that's what it's all about anyway that's all i got for today's video i hope you enjoyed it uh Guess how not to sight in a rifle. Anyway, we had fun and that's all that matters. Get out there and enjoy the outdoors. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.